If you're preparing for the IELTS speaking test, there are some things you ought to know. In today's video, I'll walk you through what you need to know about all three parts of the IELTS speaking test. Go over some great model answers, as well as share some of my top speaking tips. All right, let's get into it. Hello preppers, my name is Kira, and before we get started, there are a couple of things I'd like to say. Number one, I love you. Number two, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. The path to IELTS success is not an easy one, so please sit back, take a breath, relax, and enjoy the show. The IELTS speaking test has three parts. Part one is an introduction and an interview. Here, the examiner will ask around 10 questions. This section of the test should be really easy. Part two is a short presentation. You will be asked to talk about a given topic for two minutes, but you have one minute to prepare. Part three is a discussion. Here, you will be asked around five follow-up questions to the topic in task two. Although speaking test part one is relatively easy, there are several things that you should keep in mind. Firstly, in order to achieve a high score, you must provide long answers. The best way to do this is to answer your question in three parts. One, answer the question. Two, add another detail. And three, explain why. That's it. For example, if the examiner asks you, what's your favorite flower? A good answer would be, I'm crazy about orchids. While I was growing up, my mother always had orchids around the house. So not only do they remind me of her, but they're my favorite color, purple. Notice how I didn't rephrase the question in my answer. This is because you can lose marks for repeating the examiner. Just answer the question as you would in real life. Also notice that I said I'm crazy about orchids rather than I'm fond of orchids. This is because informal language scores higher on the IELTS speaking test. Save your formal language for the writing test. Lastly, do not repeat yourself. Repetition can cause a good speaker to score low during the speaking test. Answer each question with three sentences and move on. Speaking part two is challenging. You should consider part two as the most important part of the speaking test because it's your best chance to show the examiner what you're capable of. And it's the examiner's best chance to listen carefully to your answer. During this task, you're given a card with four points and you're asked to describe a topic. You're also given a paper, a pen, and one minute to prepare. An example task is describe a day out you had recently. You should say where and when you went, who you went with, what you did there, and explain what you enjoyed most about the day. As you can see, you're given a topic with four follow-up points. You should try and spend 20 to 30 seconds on each bullet point and make sure you say three things for each point. That's like giving a 12 sentence answer in your two minute speech. A good way to practice for this section of the test is to use sample answers. This will help you organize your answers, perfect your timing, and know which vocabulary and grammar to use. I've got my essential IELTS speaking guide linked below. Here you can find some great model answers. Speaking part three is hard you will be asked to discuss a topic related to task two in depth. Ask questions if you need help. During this section, examiners can help you by clarifying the questions asked. Some common question types asked during this section are compare and contrast, give an opinion, and speculate about the future. If you're needing an overall band of seven plus, you're going to have to do really well in this section. You'll need a ton of practice and an expert's help will probably be needed. 
If you think it's time to get some help, join my wait list by filling up the form on my website using the link below. When practicing for the speaking test, don't worry about your accent. What you do need to worry about is your pronunciation. Your accent won't affect your score, but your pronunciation will. The speaking test is not an interview. It's a casual conversation. Ask questions if you need any help and fix any mistakes that you've noticed you've made. The examiner will only mark your correction. Remember, even native speakers make mistakes. Don't worry about time during the speaking section. The examiner will control the time. Don't repeat anything you've already said. Examiners usually score too much repetition as a band five. To score high in the speaking parts, you need to use phrasal verbs, collocations, and uncommon English very well. If you're needing to improve your vocabulary, check out my test ready vocab book linked below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you're feeling a little bit more prepared for the IELTS speaking test. Good luck and happy studying.